I've always loved children, and uh, it's never been difficult for me to be a pediatrician. I love. How are you today? How has she been? Our society is is pretty tough on children, uh, and I know that we need to have people to advocate for children. I've always known that. The Waterberg district was always the most conservative. It was definitely a, a product of the apartheid system. And we found that the under five mortality rate was about 20%. 20 children in every 100 dying before they got to the age of five. And under one, 27% died before they got to the first year of life. And we were able to reduce those numbers down to less than 3% and less than 5%. When you look at what the needs are that children have, first they need to be loved. The next thing they really need is good health and they also need good education. It was the height of apartheid and uh, it was illegal to have a secondary school for black children in a white area. I didn't want people to suffer the fact that they were unable to be educated simply because of where they lived. Eventually I found somebody sympathetic and he said if I called this a farm school he would turn his blind eye to the fact that he knew it was going to be a high school and give me permission to do the, to do the building. I have donated that land. It is not owned by any one individual. It is owned by a trust for the community. And the vision for the school is to provide the best possible education for the poorest of the poor. They're at the beginning of their lives, they've got everything going for them, and they need the best possible chance. I believe that we, if we educate our children and keep them healthy, we have a wonderful future for our beautiful country. It has been remarkable. It has been remarkable to see uh, children and young people grow and develop. Uh, I always feel humble, humbled by that and very grateful.